Good day. Welcome to a new adventure for our squad, for a our new team. Adventure, la la. <laughs> Look at this. When I, when I see that face, it reminds me of that one meme of the caveman SpongeBob. Uh, <laughs> 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 anyway. It reminds me more so of um, King K. Rool. Oh, yeah, because so of one eye. So, what we gotta do is we need to get the guru his staff. And his and his moonstone, so he can join us. However, apparently he actually wants to meet he wants to meet Bentley and Murray again to see how they're doing. But the issue is that only Sly was able to get up there, so Sly is gonna need to go through a cave to make a more accessible route. The cave of bad dreams. Oh, and apparently that's our big baddie is because the miners actually unearthed a super evil bad juju man. Oh, so that just happened off screen. Okay. You know, just okay. Big bad so. Juice. In that case, why are these guys after us? Well, these specifically. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Wait. Remember oh, yeah, remember when that was a thing? Logan probably didn't because yeah. he missed out that part of the commentary. <laughs> but, yeah, right, yeah, right, so right. Bentley, yeah, so ben, that, was ba that was basically Bentley saying, hey, I've had experience with this in the past. Let's just do it. Okay. Also, if you're wondering what that jingly jangle sound is, it's my dog. Ah, Doggy. Okay. Hey, doggo. Come on, let's go she get some goodies. One. I want spin attack. Aww. What kind Art of dog is it, anyway? A Pomsky. Ah. All right, boys. Time to time to time to time to start our own bush rescue. Hey, Sly, can up to I day have a one, dog? or should I say, Sarkal one? I never watched the bush. I didn't watch Bush Rescue. Is that Frangelli or down? Or rescues down under? That was that's rescue. Uh, down under. Wait, Bush? No, Bush Rescue. No, I'm talking about fucking Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Oh, that was Ty. Right, right. Oh, the th oh, that's right. The second. That's right. The second game. I love the second game. I actually enjoy that game. Individually. I never played the third one. I own the third one with the Attack of the Quicklins or whatever it's called. That's, like, that's, like, the one, that's like the one game that's just... I mean, I was aware of its existence. I just never got around to playing it myself. I have it on Game was, was it any... Was it any... Was it like... Is it like kind of an S sequel kind of like Army of Zen is for Maximo? That's just it. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just, the, maybe it's just the matter I, I just skipped it because I never got around to finishing up um, the second game. Second. Well, I finished the second game, but I just never got around to that. And the fourth game is just weird. A well, fourth game is just, well, I mean, it's been a long time since the third game came out, so for the fourth game, they just started anew by making it a Flash-based platformer. Oh, I almost forgot that existed. Yeah, an official Chrome Studio or someone else made it. Yeah, it was uh, Chrome. Side scrolling, a side scrolling game. I mean, and it, I... it's not bad. It's just that you can sort of tell it was made. It was made with um, mobile phones in mind. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm guessing be better mobile phones. I should stress. And I'm guessing due to the fact that I basically forgot its existence, that it didn't sell too well. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it was just Oop. a thing that happened. But I, I mean, money. I wouldn't say it was like a ter it was like a failure. Hey, Ooh. I mean, it wasn't a it wasn't a failure by any stretch because I mean that's kind of, I mean I guess it was thanks to that that um, interest was uh, respond with interest on the other games were respond uh -oh. so that's why we got all those other ports on Steam. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh oh. Looks like Nick has something to say. Hold on. By the way, when he was. Ah! Oh. Oh. What? What? Is that is that so? Wait. It's a dingo. Ah! But yeah, just going back real quick when you were talking about um, when you, when he went and picked when he got the ring from that one because of this perspective, it didn't really look so much like a ring to me as much as it did a bar of soap. Ah. <laughs> okay. Also, if I had to say one thing about what I've been seeing of Sly Three lately, um, I, I think my biggest complaint is that I don't think it plays enough with stealth mechanics like Two did. It kind of feels more just like a normal action platformer now. Eh, I mean, there's still a fair bit of stuff here and there. It's just that, well, I mean, I think it's still, I still think it's pretty solid up until the halfway point. Okay, Doggo left the room. Well, I miss. Bye, bye, Doggo. Um, we're just talking about the fact that Sly Three didn't really enunciate the stealth aspect of the series compared to the second game. All oh, right, right. I mean, half the stages are during the daytime or like sunrise or sunset, so. Right. I don't know why, but I always like it like when the camera's like that with like Murray close up like that. It's almost like he's looking into the camera. It's like, who's in there? <laughs> Even when glasses do not make out anything on these. Screens. I feel like the only thing that I think the only thing that's missing when he's that close up is just a whole, just a whole bunch of smog or whatever that's just yeah, like oh, coming from the nose. <laughs> Also, also, um, uh, also, also, I was saying that for hype reminds you of, I got me for you, you sandwich. And I'm not gonna lie, these pillars to knock down are kind of finicky. We gotta go bouncy. Because... Yeah. Yeah. Just... Eat it, piston sucker. Don't say that again. Ew. Never say that again. 
Okay, so there's a I piston like, sucker I, I, who's the piston blower. No. I'm sorry, that was terrible. Let's, let's censor let's, that, let's, please. Iggy, let's say that yeah. smack for two weeks. Okay. Yeah, the first one was fine. It's this next one I don't like because this next one, like... these, This next one, they want you to do that with three of them. Which yeah. they don't all go down at once, so... It's really easy to do, but it just is so time-consuming because you can only do one at a time. So you just have to do a. Pr you just have to do this. Oh, Oops. Whoops. you just have to do in a circle, over and over. Yeah, that, and that's over. my problem with it. It's like it's not that it's hard. And it's you are just making really progress. Tedious. Yeah, you are making progress. It just takes a long time because, as you're noticing, yes, they are steadily rising. And again, you can push them down far. You can push them down faster than they have a chance to get up. But just it takes forever, and this just takes. This just extends the game time so long. Just. Just have it just be one click and done. Because you gotta make it more complex to get down. used to the ball form power up. Down. There you are. I think that's the last time you ever need the ball form. Is yep. it? That's like the last time one, it's outright required anyway. There's only, I think there's only like I think there's maybe one or two more times that I can think of. But anyway, here's a big problem. Whoever wears that dark juju mask, it also kind of like it freaking juggernauts them. It turns them huge. It's it's literally it's, it's it's literally wearable steroids. It makes them more powerful, and yes, it does also uh, make them. Um, that it also makes them a lot stronger, and they're they're not acting themselves. The mask is possessing them. They're right. they're just making them stupidly pissed off. Mm. Yeah, that's nothing. It is kind. Of, it is kind of a lamer version of the, uh, the spices. Of just the, yeah, just the spices from the sequel, the second one. Well, at the very least, they just keep it to this chapter. Yeah, true. So what the chap what just happened there is we're just gonna smash we're just gonna pick it up and throw that crap. It's yeah. a mini boss fight. For what it's worth. Oof. Yeah, in a very loose sense. <laughs> See, all you have to do look is at just that. Wop them up. Even with all throw. even with all that aggro, it's not doing much to, much to stop the Murray. Nope. To be fair, this guy's being really durable. Okay, never mind. He got one shot. It. We're screwed. We're screwed. Uh -oh. Never mind. Game Game's over, man. To be fair, it really goes to show how durable the mask makes me, because he was able to survive being slammed into three different drills. Just I mean, he wasn't getting thrown into the point of the drill, he was getting put, uh, thrown to the side. You know, let us, just still be, hurt. let us just be happy that mask never gets the idea to latch itself on Murray. Well, I mean, the mask doesn't have a brain, it's just... It's, it's like a Metroid, animal. it's just all suck. I'm actually, su I'm actually oh, surprised I never. I'm, suck. I'm actually, I'm actually surprised I never thought to do that. Yeah, I mean, I just imagine how much devastation. Do, do. Well, yeah, devastation that would have caused. Devastation. There he is. Returned, my master. The black water now runs clear. Hooray! I'd like to. I am asking. Oh man. Uh, he Would you like to dine with me tonight? <laughs> if you're not doing anything later, we could maybe Would get some hot sweet steaks. Um, I think Into the Spider Verse is still playing at this time. It really is. It's been out for a while. They've got these amazing high tech, uh, high technol, techno. No, no, They've got exactly these high tech, tech like. recliner seats and everything. I like that. They've been adding that to movie theaters all over the place. Yeah. I haven't seen them in mine yet, though. <laughs> so, yeah, that just well, that, that went swimmingly well. <laughs> yeah, By the way, what kind of koala it. bear is purple? Uh, well, what kind of what kind was of pink? What, and what kind of kangaroo is green? What kind of ape is a grape? <laughs> what kind of magilla is a gorilla? What kind of yogi is a bear? <laughs> what kind of boo is a boo? <laughs> a boo? Oh, no. <laughs> Well, let me tell you, boo boo. A boo boo bear is well. A got a lot of boo boo. Bears. boo, -boo. Or you know what? Minds. That reminds me of a joke I meant to make earlier, where it's like we were talking about like the the WWE crossovers with uh -huh. the Hanna Barbera. Yogi Bear oh, versus no. the WWE. Yeah. I was about to say I'm willing to bid five bucks that that's going to be the next Hanna Barbera crossover. Also, I just had the dumb. No. I just had the. I just no. had the dumbest thought right now. Just <laughs> think, looking back on my joke, it's like. A boo boo bear has a lot of boo boos. Is that why my bones are made of glass and paper, Yogi? That's exactly right, boo boo. <laughs> we oh, bears yeah, are yeah, terribly yeah. sensitive to small fractures. I just yeah. <laughs> now just imagining boo boo in the exact same position as that uh, one uh, 
that fooey salesman from um, the uh, Chocolate yeah. Nuts episode. Yeah, yeah it's You're like, I was born with glass bones and paper skin, Yoki. But just going every back to day, you quick, every, like, every day, every day, I break my legs. And every, every night, egg, I break my arms. And every night, night, there's a halo hanging from the And then you just got Ranger Smith in the background just bawling his eyes out on that sad story. Just... If I'm I, sorry, where are zoom, we going zoom, now? But wait, but then it zoomed. Oh, oh, God, oh. I forgot about the freaking game. Ride it! <laughs> sorry. Go! And basically, off we go! What is this basically. place? Oh, yeah. What we're doing here is basically we're using this giant monster of a truck to destroy some of the machinery that the miners have out here. Alright, it's time for a monster truck jam. Actually, well, actually, no, I believe we're not destroying the machinery just yet. Oh, no, so my bad. Well, okay, so this is like, this is a multi step project. We want to get rid of these miners. None of these guys see us. Yes. No, give us a second. Yet. <laughs> so Bentley has a plan to get everyone just to get everyone out okay, uh, out of this place. Got my what we have to do is is we like need to get rid of we need to wake up a lot of the we need to we need to piss off a lot of the giant underground scorpions. Scorpions. They're giant. Mm -hmm. The issue is that they're all underground. So to agitate them enough to get to go Whoops. topside, <laughs> oh, do over. Right. Nice going, Sly. You blew your cover. So in order to get them ticked off enough to go topside, we need to get this drill going into overdrive. Mm -hmm. Not one that we shipped it into. Maximum overdrive. You know, oh, it's really not oh, spinning that fast, so... No it's, no, it's actually working. So yeah, now, but... So now this is gonna drive the scorpions out, and so what we need to do is we need to we need to catch the red scorpions. Mm. Except, oh boy! Have you ever been to Australia? It is freaking hot there. Yeah, because the sand will burn out on on the tires, so you have to make sure that they stay cool. So drive in the water or run over the blue uh, scorpions, because their blood, I guess, will cool off your tires. I swear to God. It'll make sense in pra It'll make sense in uh, practice. Trust I mean, us. there is a reason why. Brush fires are such a common occurrence okay, back there, in the outback. I bet. You know, especially because I, especially because I learned this, eucalyptus trees apparently, like the eucalyptus oil, was super crazy flammable. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I learned that. Tiki Icky should learn that because not to mention they're a toxic to that. humans. Icky should know this because I did a Nest fun facts in a VA Let's Play Earthbound that he saw years ago. You know what? If if eucalyptus is flammable, does that mean if a koala ate a match, it would explode? <laughs> I don't know. I just remember that the joke I made was that I called you. Uh, all, all, I don't know. All I know is that I made the joke that koalas are nature's bomb squad. Oh, guys! Oh, okay, it's not the jeep falling onto its side and just laying there for five seconds. It's the it's the imagery of a koala just igniting into flame. <laughs> Not even just that, I just imagine, I just, like, oh. just like a stock what? image of a koala hanging from a tree branch, and then all of a sudden you hear, like, the spiro poof sound effect, and it just ignites the flames. You know, it's bad, imagine, it's, it's bad enough I already hear, hear about people blowing up birds. <laughs> With alka oh, seltzer? That's so, yeah. that's, so, that's so messed up. <laughs> it is. It's not it funny is. in the slightest, yeah. It's disgusting. But still, it's honestly like, funny to imagine. Laughing, it's funnier it's to not imagine not rather than actually execute. Yeah. You know, you know what? Don't even imagine happy real life. Just think of that one scene from Shrek. <laughs> that's, a, that's exactly it. Okay, so instead of a fried egg, what do you get? A blown up egg. Okay, no, I know, I mean, like, koalas don't lay eggs. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, then I guess you would just get a nice fur coat. A nice fur coat and uh, and a barbecue barbecue. A fur koala. coat if you have a barbecue very bear. I guess it'd be more of a scarf for the people, but whatever. You say barbecue bear. That Wait, depends on the no more there's... scorpion. There's a red scorpion right there. Oh boy, we gotta oh do boy. it again. And now, and now comes the hard part because now that once they start drilling down to the pretty much the freaky okay, core. Then. I'm on my way. Oh, 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 shit. Oh. I knew we should have gotten the turbo. Mm -hmm. As soon as we get a hook on this thing. Or, you know, so the scorpions are getting bored. So, some Weisenheimer decided to put the uh, the second gear controls on Ooh. the top of the drill. All the way up there. I guess they expected they expected them to get there via chopper. Well, I mean, don't yes. you know it's it's factual that uh, kangaroos could jump that high? Are you serious? Yeah, from a standstill. Oh, boy. <laughs> and, their, and, their shrieks, and their shrieks of terror are surprisingly human. And they're shrink-wrapped. Uh... And they have OZ accents. <laughs> Everyone knows this. Well, Sheila did. 
Yeah, but she didn't have a hairstyle no, and uh, an adventurous <laughs> jacket, but you don't see people complaining about oh, that no more. Oh, no! Oh. There you go. Oh, see, I still, right. see, I did, I did still have fun with that when, uh, when Hype showed me the original cutscene from... Ah, oh, crap, all the water's gone. Oh, no. Uh, what were you saying about the original cutscene? From Spyro, where it's like, no hard feelings. No hard feelings. <laughs> I just like just how sun is. It's like, after all, I'm happy to. I was kind of hoping yeah. that money bags would shatter to like glass, <laughs> <laughs> or like any other funny cartoon imagery of him just getting bopped off the screen. Well, that basically well, he did get what it was in the original game. It just, yeah. it's kind of like the Avengers, where it's like. <laughs> also, I gotta say, this has to be like the most nauseating truck to drive ever. I imagine so. Oh, you, you constantly have to suplex these things. <laughs> it's weird, and it's really... It's not even weird, like, it's just stupid. There has to be a more practical way to do this. Have a crane, have anything. We'll have a crane. Well, I mean, why do you know? have to flip over like that? Because you see the holes on top. The scorpions. Yeah. Because you see the holes on top, we're capturing it in that. Even though none of these look small enough to fit in these nets. Wait, really? Yes. Oh, dear. I thought they were oh, just pores. Nope, those are actual nets. Mm -hmm. Also, it looks like your uh, car's getting pretty hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, getting red hot. There's no water, so I need to. Run, that, that's why I'm running over a bunch of blue ones right now. Just to thankfully, cool the blue ones spawn like mad. Does the car explode if it gets too hot? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it will just like you know, you're, you're done. It tires explode pop. in scorpions. No, I was kind of hoping that yeah. the tires just pop. Because you know, it's not the truck hitting the ground; it's the tires. Yeah, I guess that doesn't yeah. make sense. Just the tires would blow well, out. That's also another thing that Logan demonstrated. Like, when you hit a scorpion, you have to hit it with the tires. You can't hit it with the top like that, with the red scorpions, to cool down your tires. Nope. Does it subtract one red scorpion for every no, scorpion you collect? No, it just doesn't do- it just doesn't do anything. You're just wasting your time. Okay, so what about the inverse? If you squish there a red you scorpion, does it make your tires hotter? I think nope. it does. Anyway, we did it. <laughs> Alright. Backing up. Drop them off of the Outback. Okay. Enjoy the thing, boys! Oh, oh wait, I, I didn't know they were... That. Watch this. Giant scorpions? Rod fight, mates! Um... Oh, uh, oh. Ow. Ow. Wow. Those are his last words. We just killed a man. No, we the killed scorpions many men killed today. a man. Yeah, but who set the scorpions free to kill the man? We've done worse. <laughs> Again, I love how in other games you're gonna try and make these guys seem like the good guys when we have committed murder. Yeah, I mean, mass these, murder. We these just guys are just doing their right jobs. That is, you know, that is, the, that you have a very good point. These are not, like, necessary. Okay, sure, they have a really intense, like, guard. Like, they have a very intense, you know, private property. Yeah, but that's, you know, like, license, standard but, procedure. But this is, we are thieves, and they probably bought, they probably went through all the proper, you know, they probably did all the proper paperwork to do construction here and mining here. Hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah, time, yeah, now we're gonna actually work on getting his stuff. Apparently we can just get him any old stick, but no, he wants, he, he wants, he wants his walking stick. It's a stick that walks, it's amazing. Whoa. With his stick and magic moonstone. <laughs> Honestly, is this, a, is this, the, is this any, is it any more petty than having to do, than uh, a, bu a bunch of rock-eating um, people to, um, they, we can't get to this one particular type of rock that they like? Hype, were you going to break out into song with that? I remember that. Wait, what? I thought you were going to break out into song a minute ago. No, I, you I, was, just, I, was, just I was just referring to the Gorons. <laughs> okay. No, we're not oh, doing the 3D. Oh, that's right. Another one of these things. No, thanks. What? But yeah, oh, if, okay. it, if, if that remark was towards what I was saying, Logan, I'm not Logan. If that remark was towards what I was saying, Icky, no, but I was referencing one of my favorite Looney Tunes shorts. You know, the Spear and Magic Helmet. Oh! <laughs> Uh, it was like sticking yeah. magic moonstone. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, Bentley's like, magic moonstone. <laughs> I well, don't believe in the likes of magic. That's why he killed ghosts last game. Hey, no, he actually, no, he did outright state like he has had like he has had experience with dark magic before. Anyway, go ahead, James. Hey, better moonstone than moonshine. I'm sorry. Why are we standing on the point of this horizontal drill? So we can get no, down here. Question. But that seems incredibly impractical in this case. We just stand on the side of it. We do a lot of impractical stuff in this franchise. What you talking about? I mean, we're animal people. It's our. It's in our blood to be stupid. 
You're being animalist. I don't know why. I don't know why I la- I don't know why I got so much of a kick out of that. Imagine like that's their <laughs> slogan. It's in our blood to be stupid. <laughs> well, it may be stupid, but it's also dumb. It's called it stinks over. It's called it stinks, my boys. It stinks. It's called it stinks. It stinks. <laughs> well, think of well, think of how your dog would feel hearing that. You got the moon. Because you know, dog, dogs can only rely on instinct. Emotion just barely plays a part in it. Hey, booby trap the moonstone. Wait, what? If I can get it outside. So, for contrived reasons, we need to run and make it to the outside right now. Otherwise, the because once we get the sound, I guess think of it like an anti-solar powered thing where once we get onto the sun, the bomb will deactivate. So wait, why did it oh, activate uh, one? Why did it activate inside the safe? Was there a UV lamp in there? No, I uh, so. actually, I don't. I don't know. You have a point. I don't know. Uh, f just, just think about this for a second. They are literally going to set a bomb off in this precarious like cave and risk a cave in and killing everybody. Filled just with oil and gasoline, stone. no less. You know, now that I think about it, outside of just the mask, what what were the miners mining for? Oil. They, they mentioned like they're they're mining for opals and stuff, probably. Oh, I thought this was like a gas operation. No, they mentioned straight up they're looking for opals and stuff. Stick. Okay, so we got the moonstone was rigged. Is the stick rigged too? I don't yes. think it is. Oh, okay, fine. great. Yeah, yeah, it will be for some because a stick is a, their their least of their worries. It's but like they, they just... it's like they it's like they don't anticipate you doing this in well one way or the other. Okay, I've got a little bit of a complaint though. Um, What's up? like this is a legitimate complaint in terms of like level design, but why is it that you have to collect two things, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like for sake of convenience, why do they have to be on the complete opposite sides of the map? Because they because they, they, they didn't want us to get them, so they hit them in two different caves. Yeah, yeah they, exactly. They, they expect they just expect you to get get your, get some mileage out of the whole open endedness of the map. Eh. Well, I think it's also just as, uh, honestly, e honestly, e if it weren't for that, we may as well just it may as well just been some strict linear progress, kind of like you know, Phoebe's raccoonus. I noticed well, that well, cutaway, well, by the way, Logan. Well, what I was about to what? say is that like just that was a cutaway. You got that sound? But yeah, oh, maybe me. I think it was just a cutaway, just because it took me a couple tries to get that combination chat. lock work. Yeah. Okay. Another booby trap for a stick. These guys are paranoid. They've called in reinforcements. Nothing like a horde of angry dingoes to make things a bit more interesting. So now we have a timer and we hey, have dingoes, to run past the Hey, dingoes, you're a kangaroo, your baby. What? <laughs> oh, no. See, we're just going to move. Oh, he just jumped right off the platform. <laughs> he had See, he did that one, too. To it's just Actually, a mining dingoes. operation. What else since is he going to do? Since you made that joke, it's like, hey, dingo, human nature, baby. <laughs> Boy. Anyway. What a okay, stuck in a Okay, you stupid dingoes, quit flinging your shit everywhere. It's hard to see. <laughs> they're flinging whips, not shit. Well, no, they're also throwing, like, the same brown rocks. Oh, the rocks? Smaller fries mm. throwing slight too. Yeah, okay. and they reach behind them to get them. All that's yeah. missing is a pop sound. For a second, I thought the walls of this little tunnel were, like, puzzle pieces. Can I say, can I say Good. one stupid thing I love? Nice. Mm -hmm. I, I usually hate these kind of jokes, but there's one joke I love from Madagascar. Freaking, if you have any poo, flick it, flick it now. <laughs> there's a lot. Of, I'm not gonna lie. There's like a lot of like little jokes like that. Like the one right after that that gets me every time for some reason is when everyone's surrounding him, and you just go, "It's the man." So wait, why do we have to meet Bentley to meet the poo and bring him the stuff? Because he wants to meet. Because no, he wants, he to, wants to meet Bentley too. Oh. Yeah, he wants to meet Bentley as well. This, this okay, so it's like a job interview for all three of you. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. He yeah, needs to know we can trust him. And know that we're on the right side. Here you go. The time for escape has come. Okay. Bro, what the heck you the talking about? <laughs> Thank you, you're too kind. But tell me, how do you plan to escape? You know, so it's a case of where so they can understand the guru, but I'm pretty sure the guru can't even comprehend them either. Possibly, wouldn't that be funny? Hmm. Honestly, this guru ain't stupid. I mean, he w did literally list. Slide did understand him saying gyrocopter at one point. He's got cross eyes. Oh, wait a minute. Now, time to demonstrate the guru shtick. All right, as time to play as the guru. Yep, as they mentioned, he can be able to. You hold the L1 to play time is over. Disappear! Oh. What the heck just happened? 
And while they're distracted, you can go behind pilot. them, jump across the circle button, and... Madness! Possessed. <laughs> so... Oh, crap. <Jack. laughs> so okay, so they turn into, like, the walking missiles from Rayman 2? Yeah, mm -hmm. kind of. Yeah, they just start going nuts. And uh, so now we need to start blowing up some drills with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, so they Wait. actually detonate? Yeah. Oh, and, and oh, and, no, they don't detonate. You just ram them really fast. Oh. Also, when you're also when you're controlling these guys, if you hit the square button, you'll actually whip them. You mm -hmm. what? You can actually whip with them. Yeah, if you hit the square button, you can actually whip them with these guys. Huh. Yeah. And look at that. And, <laughs> see there. <laughs> <and> there <you laughs> <go>. <laughs> It's and, fun. Also, yeah, this is cool. He doesn't use a Banaki Kong, he uses his Moonstone. Mm -hmm. And as you notice, like, whenever you take a guy's mind, they will constantly be running. You can't stop them, except for, you know, like the whip you mentioned. So you have to be very careful once you do it. They are the walking minds, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Missiles, not minds. Okay. Okay. By the way, I do want to say that one detail that I appreciate from Sly 4 is that when you have Murray using a Banakicom, he has like a little keychain in the shape of the Guru, and it literally is the exact same PS2 model made for the keychain. Wait, really? Yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah up there. Hmm. It works. Easy does it. Alright, so we so... just gotta hijack these goons and make them break the drills with their bodies. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Still, it's, it's, it's kind of a shame that throughout the entire game you don't ever get to possess road runners. No. Never. Mm -hmm. But nope. so I mean, okay. Here's the other thing that should be said. So from now on, for the rest of this game, we're going to be getting we're going to be getting other characters besides Sly, Bentley, and Murray. At least However, one character per ca chapter. Uh, yes. However, these characters do not. Uh, these characters cannot be selected from the main from you know the main hideout menu like Slimer and Bentley. They right. are very situational and only for one mission each. Yeah, they're uh, mission specific. Mm -hmm. That's underwhelming. So you don't get to do a lot of free roaming as. I them, mean, at the I mean at the end of the day, it, it makes some amount of sense. They're not quite as varied in their skills as um slot as the uh, main three, but I mean, I mean you can't even pickpocket with them. No, you can't. Or side shimmy. Although, that being said, how would you imagine the guru pickpocketing enemies? Uh, he possesses I, them I to imagine. empty their pockets. Yeah, like, or he just possesses them and they just go, Here you go, and they just give it to you. That, there's that, or... Oh! Oh! oh. Nice! Oh, hello! That was a nice Use your disguise! Use your disguise! Do... No, you, oh, yeah, you're also, right, I should do that. You, you can do Give me a second, I need to get over here thing. anyway. You can't, you can't possess an enemy when you've been detected. Well, oh, wait, if you go into your disguise, like, when they've already spotted you, do they actually just fall for it? Oh yeah, yes. no, they will just fall for it, no matter if you're right in front of them. <laughs> it's, literally just, just it's, it's, it's literally just vanished. It's just literally a substitute jitsu. Or jitsu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> jitsu. Uh, jitsu. Uh, jitsu. Jitsu. Oh, hang on. Jitsu. Alright, here we go. Destroy the refinery. No. Oh, hello. And oh, goodbye. Right on, cowboy. Beep, beep. Uh-oh. We need to do this three times, though. Yeah, because it's a durable piece of machinery. Because they really want you to get your mileage out of this whole system. I love how it's oh, I thought we were about to throw that. the stick at that guy over there. That would be amazing, but no. Dude, if we could throw, like, if we were able to throw, like, freaking, like, magic bombs with this Like, thing, energy blasts? Like, that would be amazing. But yeah, like, yeah, using, like, an old, like, bola. What are those things called? Where, like, they're I guess, bolas. Like, a, like a sling, you know, where you throw bolas? Like, just one, like... Yeah, they're bolas. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, bolas. Ouroboros. Why do you think Bolo got his name? Not Ouroboros. Ouroboros Alice. Do you think Ouroboros he's... actually isn't isn't Ouroboros actually like some sort of spirit in Australia? Some kind of stuff? snake. Okay. Wait, no, there is like some Australian rainbow serpent. Yeah, oh, wait, look this up right now. Ouroboros. That's one of the viruses in Resident Evil. And it's a persona. Ouroboros is an ancient symbol depicting a serpent or dragon eating its own tail. That's it. Okay, so the, like, what's the, the, the rainbow whatever. snake thing? I guess we'll uh, find out next no. time. Actually, also, we... goodness, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll look into that and probably we'll forget by the time we record next. But, yep, with that, the guru is officially on our side. It's time to start focusing on how to get rid of these freaking miners. Okay. Until next time, guys. Bye. Oh, no, 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 no.